joined in 2006. I joined because I wanted to be a Green Beret. That's all I wanted to do since I was little. Thanks to Rambo, I was just like, hey, I want to be that. And then initial entry into Special Forces, and it's one of the best career decisions I've made and life choices. Multiple deployments, I got done in the end of 2017. I was medically retired. I was injured in 2016. So what was your injury? What happened? Uh, so I was ejected from a Humvee in a firefight. I, I did not know initially that my back was broken. I was just like, hey, there's something wrong. Mm -hmm. It was towards the end of the deployment. I wanted to stay on the team and, and uh, support what we had going on, which is very common um, from the unit I was from. I, I didn't know until I got until I got home, I was like, hey, my, leg, my legs are starting to give out. I'm having problems. Um, mm -hmm. I went over to the Thor 3 program, which is like physical therapy and, and that, for that, that we have available to us. And they said, you need to go get imagery. And that's where it all kind of came out. And what was your recovery process like? And how soon were you able to get into sports and adaptive sports? From injury, is about a year, uh, year and a couple months um, before, I, before I was able to, to get back. And even at that, it's very, um, limited. It took uh, probably the longer period to wrap my head around it being permanent, right? The permanence of, of it, you know, and um, it, that's probably the hardest, hardest thing to, to swallow when it comes to um, just injuries. Mm -hmm. So sit down with, with a physical therapist that I've worked with over years and then say, this is going to be permanent. It's only going to get worse over time. So do what you can. Which sports are you competing here at the games and how do you do that with your back? I competed already in uh, standing air rifle and then uh, standing air pistol. Uh, I did well, get the standing rifle, I placed fourth, and then I still have, uh, there's an exhibition for golf and then I'll be, be competing in archery, which is uh, my passion. How I do it with my back is one day at a time. It's not every day that I can train even for, for the games, so I, I, I take it as I can get it. If I can't do one, then I'll, I'll find something else to, to practice that will help me. You said archery is your best or favorite sport here. How did you get into that? I was actually introduced by, uh, there was a, a military adaptive sports program that, that I was brought into when I was still in the, the recovery process. They said, try all these, all these sports and see if it's something that connects with you. I picked up a bow and that was it. It's a slow methodical process and a lot of it is core strength, with, which helps my back. The sport actually directly impacts my recovery. So these are your first Warrior Games. What is your biggest takeaway? Uh, biggest takeaway just in general is uh, community. Um, I see I see other other sports and I'm like, you know, wheelchair rugby, super awesome, uh, really aggressive and kind of uh, has that team, team mentality. Uh, it makes me want to participate, cheer for somebody that I know that's competing, that's given their all on the court and the other teams. Um, it's, it's important for everybody. So th I think that that kind of sense of humanity uh, is super important for me. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Best Thanks. of luck. Thanks.